and blood pressure are controlled by the kidneys. Our bodies must continuously monitor the concentration of water within the blood. A change in the body's water concentration due to things such as sweating or dehydration results in the homeostatic levels being thrown off. So how does our body maintain homeostasis and compromise for these changes? Our bodies adjust for increased water intake by increasing urine output. Conversely, when water intake decreases, urine output also decreases. The kidneys are one of the body's major homeostatic devices as they are responsible for regulating blood water levels as well as reabsorption of substances into the blood. The force generated as water moves by osmosis is called blood osmotic pressure. It occurs when a solute cannot pass through a membrane but the water can pass through. When salt concentration is high, the concentration of water molecules is low. Water moves through osmosis from an area of high concentration to low. So, water moves towards the area with a higher salt concentration because it has a lower water concentration. When looking at the blood osmotic pressure controlled by the kidneys, we are looking at the movement of water from the blood to surrounding tubules and vesicles. Osmoreceptors, which are frequently found in the hypothalamus, are cells that are sensitive to osmotic pressure changes and can trigger the release of the antidiuretic hormone, ADH. When blood plasma becomes too concentrated, for example, from dehydration, lack of water intake, or sweating, your blood osmotic pressure increases. As a result, water moves into the bloodstream, causing the cells of the hypothalamus to shrink. The osmoreceptors detect this change and send impulses to the pituitary gland, which causes the release of ADH into the blood. The ADH tells the kidneys to reabsorb more water, which means more concentrated urine is produced. ADH enters the kidney and acts on the collecting duct and upper regions of the distal tube making them permeable to water. Greater volumes of water are reabsorbed, which prevents additional water loss and increases your blood pressure. The shrinking of the cells of the hypothalamus also initiate a thirst response, and you begin drinking. In the reverse situation, when blood osmotic pressure decreases from blood being too dilute, osmoreceptors send signals to decrease the release of ADH. As a result, the kidneys decrease water reabsorption, meaning more water collects in the urine, making the urine more dilute. Another hormone associated with blood pressure is aldosterone. Low blood pressure in the kidneys or reduced blood flow to the kidneys causes a release of aldosterone from the adrenal gland. Aldosterone is released into the bloodstream and stimulates the distal tubes and collecting ducts in the nephron to reabsorb sodium ions into the bloodstream. The sodium ions increase osmotic pressure of the extracellular fluid and, therefore, increase water reabsorption. Angiotensin, a form of aldosterone, is also released, which causes constriction of blood vessels. Overall, blood pressure is increased and a homeostatic level of balance is reached.